Hey there, I'm David, and today we're going to look at what has been, in my opinion, the most useful and simple formula um, to implement in Notion. If you're new to formulas, we're going to walk through how to set them up, uh, create an if-then process for automatically marking a task as done. Um, so when we're working with tasks, depending on the project, sometimes it could be useful to have a Kanban view similar to um, something like this, where you go from inbox up next in progress, if something's on hold or waiting, and ultimately um, getting to the done status. And this is pretty common um, in terms of like digital products, user experience, um, et cetera. But in other cases, you know, it might just be sufficient to have a quick kind of checklist um, to give you quick visual updates on what's outstanding and what's completed. So in table view, we have a checklist here um, that's basically not connected to anything around the task or the status. So if we notice, um, if we check this to done, nothing happens to that task. So we're going to create a new property and we're going to call this done and we're going to set it to be a formula. And we're just going to slide this over to the left to compare it later. Now we're going to edit this formula. So we're going to say equal, which basically means the checkbox is filled. Open parentheses, prop, status in quotations. So this is calling the name of the property that we're looking for, comma, and specifically when it's set to done. So we're calling this the name of this property status and anytime it's done, then we um, know to check this box. Finish that. And let's take a look at how that works. So we'll notice that one of these, which has received feedback is done. And now this checkbox is checked. And if we say complete this task, that checkbox is again, automatically filled out. Similarly, if we are using a Kanban view and making our way through, let's turn on the, this property so that we can see it here as well. So if I create a video outline and I move that over to the done status, now we get that checkbox filled in and same thing applies here, whereas in that old checkbox, um, nothing happens, just kind of stays unchecked. So that's just an overview of using formulas. This one's relatively simple, but if you're just getting started, it could be helpful to walk through those steps before you get into some of the more complex formulas. Um, let me know if you're using this formula or if you have questions about other formulas. Uh, I'd be happy to hear them and um, hope that was helpful. And see you in the next video.